Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Jasmineite day and I have 120 grams of the liquid of the Jasmineite and I'm just dropping um, resin inks from Stephanie Etter into my liquid. Um, the Jasmineite I purchased or I, I got from Miss Colorberry and like I said, the resin inks I'm using to color my resin, uh, not my resin, <laughs> my jasmineite is from Stephanie Etta. And I'm just mixing till I think I have for myself the right tone of color. I think I dropped 50 drops in there. And now um, I'm showing you how I'm putting the powder into my liquid. I always um, first mix the liquid and then I step by step add the powder. So I mixed 120 grams of liquid and I need 300 grams of my powder and the ratio is one to two and a half. So one part liquid to two and a half parts of the powder. Yeah, I had some problems with the battery. I needed to check this. Yeah, I need to buy a new battery for my scale. And I'm using, um, I don't know how you call it. We call it in German ein Schneebesen. <laughs> so I'm... Mixing my resin, ach, my resin, my jasmineite. I'm too much into resin and I'm not, um, yeah, it's, I think, my, only my fourth video with jasmineite. So I, I keep on saying resin. So please forgive me. So that's now my color almost done and mixed. I really give it a good stir. So I avoid blobs or anything in there. I want it to be rather smooth. Yeah, I wonder how you call this device in, in English. Maybe people can write this into my description box so I know it the next time. So, and there's my mold. It's the Royal Coaster Mold from Molds and Shapes. And I added again, I did this last time too, the um, slate um, druzy insert and I also um, cut it a little bit of a druzy inserts to have smaller sections and now I'm putting my jasmineite into my mold and yeah I'm clapping a little bit I hope the camera is not shaking too much there was something in my jasmineite so I took it out And I keep on pouring. So I think this color is already quite nice. This sort of yellowish color. And I'm taking all out. And my mold is filled to the rim. So I think this is good. And now I have my candle holder. And I put also um, cut it um, druzy inserts inside um, the candle holder mold. And I mixed my resin, ah, my resin, my jasmineite, uh, ah, people, jasmineite, with the um, praline color from Stephanie Etta, also resin ink. And I think it looks a little bit like sort of... Um, mocha color light mocha and i really really like the color i also um, dropped around about 50 drops into my liquid before but i didn't show you again the whole process because i showed you with the yellow with the campari there i'm really taking my time to Put the jasmineite into the mold and I keep on clapping my 
wooden board on my table just to pop some bubbles and hopefully I don't have too many air bubbles and again and now I'm just filling it up I really wonder how it works with um, the Druzy insert in the candle holder. So I'm very, very curious about it. And now I'm really filling up my mold. It's a nice design of the candle holder. Um, by the way, the uh, molds, the candle holder and the Royal Coaster molds are both from Molds and Shapes. And they are their latest molds or one of their latest molds. And I really like them. I already did uh, a video using them. And yeah, just check out my description box for molds and shapes. And if you use promo code PT5, you get 5% discount. There I have the napkin ring, uh, the medallion of the geranium flower. And I thought I just pour because I had it out. And I thought I just pour the rest of the jasmineite into one of the coasters or of the mold, not coasters. Just to have, just to use what I have. So, anyway, this is, um, I waited around about 40 minutes and I can demold my tray and look at this I really like the color it's really beautiful and now I'm getting the juicy insert out it takes a bit till you have your start and look at this I really like it and especially I like these little parts very very much and the other one yeah I have a little bit overflow there but you can easily break this out and then you have your your design which you wanted to have and look at this really really like it a lot very beautiful and the crystals they look like little stones and yeah i like it so this is my little flower and this is also nice just putting this aside and now i'm very curious about the candle holder so i'm just loosening the edges very carefully and I'm trying to get my candle holder out of the mold <laughs> it's a very solid um, and really high quality mold so and I just need to let it pop a little bit <laughs> pulling but very carefully because I don't want to break anything even though it feels already rather solid yeah and this is the mold I just put it back into shape and this is the candle holder and also there I had overflow but I expected this because I couldn't really press the silicone to silicone so I'm very curious because I wanted to to get a rather sort of um, broken old look of the candle holder and I think I succeeded just the other side sometimes you have um, this effect in old houses that you have um, the nice parts and then there are parts of the house where you just see the the stones or whatever and this is what I wanted to achieve 
and I think I got it. I take you down there for for my painting, and I'm using um, the metallic rose gold there, and I also used it for the yellow, and I was not sure, but I wanted to take the same because it's a set. Anyway, this is the final result, and I hope you like it. I like it a lot, and thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and see you for my next video. Bye-bye.